How you going guys? Milk Cookies and Games here. Welcome to another video um, tutorial in our Gates of Hell Gym Editor series. Uh, today we're going to look at the last video of our parachutes, paratroopers rather, a uh, little mini series. Um, so this is uh, <clears throat> more or less the advanced version. Um, it's not difficult, it's just a bit tedious, um, but it does have a cool effect once it's all done. Um, so what we'll do is we'll quickly show a preview of what we're going to be achieving today. Uh, if you watched the last or the previous video, you would have seen at the end I did show a bit of a sneak peek, but uh, let's just do a preview for everyone now. Uh, these planes for some reason don't have sound, but they're from the Mace mod, if you're wondering. This is what we're going to be recreate, uh, creating. So, looks a little bit more realistic. Uh, they're not just spawning all together and then going to the ground at the same time. They're uh, leaving the aircraft one by one. And yeah, that's the effect you get. So, let's begin. So, first off, let's uh, do, the, do the scripting for the plane. So uh, let's get the pilots in the aircraft. Give it a tag. So US underscore zero two and a hidden tag. Amplitude of 40. Go to the waypoints, add your waypoints. Don't forget your delete command at the end. Go to your triggers, let's add C47-2, your delay of three seconds. It can, doesn't have to be that, it can be whatever you guys want. <clears throat> go to actor, <clears throat> excuse me, go to actor, air state, set the altitude to 40, which is what we got the plane currently at. Give it the appropriate tag. Then you want to go to other, act it to waypoint, uh, teleport and rotate, waypoint five, I believe it was. I will double check that. Yep, waypoint five. Uh, just, okay. Don't know why there's another delay there. We don't need that. So that's it. Cool. The plane is now done. Next up, we've got our units. So let's select our soldiers here and give them a tag. So give them the player tag. Um, there are 12 units here. So as I mentioned in the, I think, first video of our paratroopers, um, possibly the second one, in Gates of Hell, you can only select 12 units uh, at, a, at a t one time, right? So there's 12 over there, there's 12 here. So that's effectively two squads. <clears throat> Cool. So yeah, give them the player tag, uh, and then you're going to have to give them their own separate tags once they're connected to the parachute. Okay, so let's connect these guys to the parachute now. So this is tedious in itself. So select one, and then shift select the shoot and G link.
Cool. <clears throat> Once you've done that, select all of them. And give him a... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, give him a general tag. So let's just call him US Para Troopers uh, S2 for Squad 2. And then you want to individually give him a tag. So US Para underscore S1. And just Control A, Control C. And then we'll leave the hidden tag till last. Two. So you want to do this for each and every unit. Three. Four. Sweet, that's 12. Select them all and give them a hidden tag. Sweet. Next thing we're going to do is the emit zone. Try and replicate what I've got over there. Cool, let's move these guys all forward now. Should be fine. All right, <clears throat> come to your triggers. First thing we need is a near condition. So the near two will be the zone. And we want the airplane tag here. Next, we'll begin the scripting for the soldiers. So entity, entity state. Give it the first individual tag, so US underscore para S1. And then we want to remove the hidden tag. Set inactive to off, and we can have these on. Next will be the entities tab again, but this time the effect command. In here, we're going to put para trooper and give it the exact same tag as before then we're going to click on the entity underscore state command press alt c copy it we're going to get rid of this and here we're going to add the same tag we've been using thus far again alt c here we're just going to put start then you want a delay of about 0.4 seconds, um, but you guys can play around with this and find what you like best. Uh, next thing is we're just gonna control C, control C, control C, or alt C, I should say, sorry. And just go through and change the tags to suit the next unit. So now it'd be S2. S2. And then copy the delay as well. Uh, 
Now you want to do this for obviously all 12 units. So this is obviously, oops, the most tedious part. But as I said before, the end result is quite cool. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'll go through and do the rest of them. It's the exact same process. Um, you don't need to add anything else. It's the exact same process as we're doing for all 12 units. Once I've done that, I'll come back. All right, guys. Um, so once you're done, it should look something like this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Big, tedious process. Uh, so let's actually test this, make sure it's all working, hopefully, first time. So the only thing we didn't add in is the player change, but that's that's fine. Um, just to make sure we've got 12, oops, no. Oh, cool. So there you go, guys. That is the tedious advanced way of doing paratroopers in uh, Gates of Hell. This will obviously work for the other Men of War games as well. Um, also, just want to um, answer a question asked in the previous video if you can actually adjust the altitude of parachutes. The answer is yes, you can, but the trade off is, for example, if we raise these guys up, and I'm just holding down the A key and raising them up, or you can change it here. So let's just say 200, and we play the mission. They will spawn at that height, but unfortunately they don't land on the ground. So they're at that height. See how they, they're stuck in the air and then they drop to the ground. So it's up to you how you, you want to go about that situation. Um, unfortunately, there's no real other way of increasing the height. Um, unless... When the new DLC comes out for the game, um, the in the teaser trailer they sh uh, shown C-47s flying in the air. So obviously they might be doing like an airborne invasion uh, mission. I'd like to think um, maybe they might give us a bit more freedom with the parachutes. They might uh, redo the parachutes or tweak it. I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait till the DLC comes out. Um, if that is the case, when the DLC comes out, if they uh, added a new way of doing parachutes, a new you know, and you can adjust all this, the height and all that, then I will do a video on it. Um, but as far as it goes, you can't really change the height, all right? Um, otherwise, they just float in the air and it looks a bit stupid. Um, so I hope that helps with your question, mate. Um, yeah, cool. All right, so it pretty much comes to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll be moving on now from parachutes, um, unless the DLC comes out and there is a new way of doing things. I will then do a follow up video. 
But apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, yeah, please like, uh, comment, subscribe. If you have any issues or need help, comment below, and I'll do my best to to help you guys out. Uh, but apart from that, I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.